I'm here with Dan Bosco Sevic, uh, GC America's lab marketing manager. Dan, uh, you know, we're at an age or we're at a time in the industry where digital dentures are continuing to evolve. The printers are, it seems like they're there. More and more labs are, are adopting. What, what about final characterization, right? Printed, mailed, it's great. Sure, you can send it out. But what about when a technician wants to really customize that? What kind of recommendations or products do you have in the portfolio that you might recommend for a technician? Uh, we have products uh, like Gradia, Gradia Gum, and Gradia Plus. These are these are all indirect composite materials. Um, and these pro Gradia Plus is a, a newer generation. It, it has a newer, uh, there's new chemistry behind it and a, a new nanotechnology where we use um, we use a small a small filler size of, of, of glass that that is very densely packed into a certain into a, a the, the small amount of an area so that you, it, it gives you added strength, uh, added physical properties, better color, uh, similar to our Lisi press technology. Uh, we use this this new nanotechnology that's uh, that's uh, GC's actual technology, and um, and so we have these products like Gradia Gum and, and, and Gradia Plus that you can use. Uh, to to after the after the denture is printed or milled, you can actually characterize the the tissue. Now there there are a whole range of pink shades, uh, anything from deep reds to to light pinks to even almost clears and, and whites, and um, you can use these materials to characterize the the, the tissue area of the denture um, after it's printed or milled, and it and it gives you uh, great effects. It, it can help your lab stand out from other labs uh, that are doing the same thing that are you know. Uh, the machine's only going to do so much, and every machine's going to pretty much do the same thing. So, so in order for you to put your fingerprint on it and to really stand out and separate your your lab, uh, these materials can really help you do that by by adding that extra character flair and 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 uh, and, and really make your denture beautiful compared to some of the some of the other dentures out there. So, I think these materials can really help uh, labs stand out. Uh, also, we have products like OptiGlaze Color. Uh, this is a painting solution. It's a it's a, uh, it, a a resin material that you can paint on the surface and light cure. Uh, so even if you wanted to characterize the denture teeth or the tissue, if you don't want to layer or pack composite on the tissue, you can paint the the optiglaze uh, on on the uh, on the tissue or even the teeth and light cure it. Um, we have a, a, new, a new product that's actually kind of hidden in the Gradia Plus system. Uh, it's called uh, Luster Paint, not to be confused with our Luster Paste that have been around for many years that people use on ceramic. Uh, but Luster Paint is a, a light cured um, version. Uh, so what's different about that versus OptiGlaze? Uh, it's consistency. So the Luster Paint has a thicker, more like a, I would compare it to oil painting versus watercolor. Uh, some of our customers uh, like to have the, the, the thinner, version like OptiGlaze where they can paint on and it applies very thin and evenly. Um, some people complain it's a little runny, so they prefer more of like an oil paint type of application like luster paint. You can even use both and mix them together, which is a great uh, option as well. Um, so whether you're painting or stacking composites uh, or light cured materials, we have those solutions. So there's there's different options that we offer to help laboratories uh, really differentiate their, their, pro their final product from, from their competition. Um, so I think these are these are products that that right now many customers don't know we have, but I I'm glad that we're talking today, Andrew, so we can get that message out there. It's no secret that d dentures is kind of the 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 hidden the hidden feature in a laboratory, sure. right? It's it's typically explained as dirty or not, not as glamorous. glamorous, if you will, as mix and and layering and a, a porcelain technician, you know, but also the removable technicians out there, it's no secret, is shrinking and, and reducing. How do you think, you know, some of these newer materials and specifically digital dentistry, you know, equipment, printing, milling is helping some of these denture technicians or even a ceramist kind of explore new opportunities, maybe get cross-trained on some new features or, or you know, how to use uh, composite materials or how to use 
porcelain if they're not a traditional layering uh, ceramics. How do you think you know the market is continuing to shift or open up those opportunities because of the reduction of removable technicians? Yeah, that's that's actually the sad part is that we're losing removable technicians. Uh, we don't have as many. But the the good news is is I think that it's 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 a lot more attractive now. Uh, when I grew up in the laboratory, uh, my my father and mother were both technicians and. Uh, I, I learned uh, how to pour models at 10 years old, so so I, this is something I you know that's in my blood, and and I can I can tell you even growing up, my my father never wanted me. He said, if you ever become a technician, I don't want you to become a removable technician because it's kind of dirty, it's it's a lot more labor intensive, it's not as profitable. But I think it's changed a lot. Um, it seems to be there's there's a new trend in going into removables now. Um, there there seems to be you know with the baby boomers and the market is starting to grow. You know you're starting to see more all on four, all on six hybrids, removable type cases. So I think you know even uh, you, 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 we're seeing a complete change right now happening where ceramics seem to be more interested. I think digital is helping to 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 you know. Uh, make it easier for technicians to try to to, to cross over into these different parts of, of, of the laboratory. And, uh, and I, I honestly think now we're, we're starting to see a change. It's, I think it's more glamorous to be a removable tech now because of all these, you know, these materials and these new technologies that are helping to make it easier, to make it more profitable. Um, you know, even even we we're talking a little bit about, you know, uh, these popular hybrid hybrid type uh, uh, application. So, you know, printed, P uh, sorry, uh, milled PMMA is really popular. Optiglaze and Gradia can also be used on that when you're doing a long-term uh, temporary, for example, uh, before you, you, you before that all on six or all on four cases uh, uh, delivered, you, you want to have some nice, beautiful temporary. Well, you can use Gradia gum for the tissue of the PMMA. You can use Optiglaze or, or, or Luster paint to characterize the teeth, like Curit, and it's it's easy. It's done. There's no firing involved. Everything's light cured, and and you really uh, can can use these materials on all the printed and milled uh, applications being used today. Uh, so I think I think absolutely, ceramists are now finding it. Uh, ceramists I think are finding it more attractive. They can take their skills and apply them uh, to, to some of these removables, and then also the removable text. I mean, I'm seeing on Facebook and all social media, you see all these great removable texts starting to expand and and show what they can do with characterizing these dentures and making them uh, pretty and, 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 and putting their art and their fingerprint on, on the final product. So I think uh, we're, we're going in that direction where you're gonna see a, a lot of cross-pollinization happening in laboratories and, and uh, it's, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I think you touched on it, you know, digital and technology is not here to replace a technician. It, it's to almost right. expand on that workflow, right? That was maybe one of Absolutely. the the halting points of a technician or a lab getting into removables is, hey, it's labor intensive. It's going to, you're going to need this type of equipment. You're going to need this kind of technician. But now with, you know, scanners having the yep. software to be able to design it. And now between all the different mills, all the different printers, now all the different materials that are coming yep. out, it just seems like it's the the best opportunity today Absolutely. to get into digital dentures, whether you're an analog denture lab or right. you know maybe a crown and bridge lab that's been using design software for X amount of years. You know now you have the the knowledge to to get into it, and it just it seems like that shift is really happening and started happening over the last year or so. Absolutely, I, I, you know I think uh, now with. Um, you're, you're, you're looking at a, a, a time where things are, it's, it's, it's easier. I mean, don't get me wrong. You still have to understand the form and function. That's something that we can't lose. So we can't just, you know, I hear a lot of people say, well, we're going to hire Johnny Gamer, have him come in. And how to, you know, I don't think it's that easy. <laughs> I mean, there's still, there's still a, a science behind this. And, um, but the, the great thing is, is that with, with all these advancements, I, I wouldn't look at digital as I wouldn't be fearful of digital. It's coming, it's here to stay. Um, and I, I would embrace it and use it as another medium. Okay, um, you see, you know what they thought? They thought that uh, the, the the computer was going to ruin the artist, and it hasn't ruined the artist. It's just it's the, they changed the medium. That's all it is. It's you know instead of using oil, you're using a mouse. You know, uh, it's the same thing with 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 the with the lab industry now. Things are changing, and how do we adapt? You're still putting your fingerprint on them by using materials like Gradia gum, by, like luster paints, even luster paste for ceramists or optiglaze. These colors that are designed to either 
as a painting solution, uh, you don't necessarily have to layer as much as you used to anymore. So, so now with these these new materials, it's almost like a, a paint on application, and and it's a lot easier to to learn and to get into. One of the hardest things to teach a ceramist, for example, is, is how to layer because they have to anticipate the shrinkage and. And, and and so forth of the of the ceramics. So it's it's not as easy to learn something like building inside out with the, those ceramic powders that you you have to learn every little intricacy of what these these different translucencies and different characterization materials do. And you have to memorize these to understand how this crown is going to look. And then if you overbuild it, you have to cut it back. And you know now with these painting solutions. Uh, with digital, it's it's made it a lot easier, and you can just concentrate. It's I think it's made it uh, labs more profitable, uh, it, it more productive, and, and with these paint on solutions, you can give that three dimensional effect as if it were layered, but just by applying a paste on the surface. Um, so so yeah, I think we're definitely going into a, a it's a different time now, but I don't I wouldn't be scared of it. I would embrace it and see how you can how each technician can put their fingerprint on on this digital work to separate themselves. So. You know, you, you mentioned Johnny Gamer, which reminds me of when Zirconia and Mills came to the market, you know, 10 plus years ago. You know, it, it's not to replace the technician and just to hire, you know, at, at that time it was, let's hire someone out of school that doesn't know dental. I mean, right. you still absolutely need to know dental. You need to know the basics of tooth movement and, you know, everything that happens inside the mouth. Uh, you know, especially in a denture lab, you still need somebody to QC it. But I think now you're starting to have that opportunity to cross train, you know, make make a technician a little more rounded on different types of the workflow, maybe, you know, more of a consultative approach with some of their accounts. But, you know, it's really just evolving in the laboratory. It's not to right. say, hey, we don't need to do we don't need this person anymore. It's really, hey, how do we make the lab better by taking somebody that specializes in maybe dentures and let's try to start training them in ceramics or ceramics into into removables. So I think that's really the opportunity. Yeah, and I remember you know working for uh, different labs when I was younger, and and I remember one of the labs I worked for was a production lab, and you had you know you, you were it was almost like an assembly line, and you had one person that all they did was opaque, and then one person all they did was layer, you know, and it, it, you know right now it's just changing, right? We're seeing <laughs> you might have that same production lab today, and now it's going from you know milled or printed, and you have a enhancer or a characterizer, right? It's it's changing for the small lab. It gives the small labs an opportunity to be more productive. Take these printed dentures or or or, or milled uh, restorations and, and be able to characterize them quickly uh, and, and make them look aesthetic without spending so much time uh, as we did in the past. So absolutely. You know, Dan, it, it really is great to, to talk with you and to really see all the innovations that continue to come out of GC, um, you know, you're so passionate about the lab space and, and helping labs really take their production or their skills to the next set, uh, to the next step. It's great to, to talk with you, and I really look Thank forward you. to what comes next. Thank you so much, Andrew. I really appreciate it. It was great to talk to you as well.